going on, fellas? It's King Dre, and I'm at y'all ass again, man, with another one. Um, we're going to chop up some good game on this good Friday evening. Um, this is going to be quick to the point, so let's get into this player shit, man. This is going to be about six or six reasons why she ghosted you, right? Um, a lot of guys, man, these days, uh, women are rough, man. Women are, women are, are, are fucking, women are thugs, man. They, they, they'll cut your ass off and won't give you no explanation. And they have you looking stuck. You don't like her. You like her. You into the bitch. You invested. And they'll get rid of your ass quick and move on fast. You know what I'm saying? Just like that. And, and leave me, leave you stuck. And now you frustrated. You know, and it happens time and time again. And now you're going fucking big towel and you think you're a fucking incel. So, I'm gonna give you the six, you know, the six common reasons. There's always more reasons as to why women do the uh, the weird shit that they do, but um, this is the, the the six common reasons why a woman would ghost you, right? Uh, so get your pens and pad, uh, take notes, and let's chop up this player shit. So number one, number one reason that um, a woman may ghost you is uh, she was looking for a fling or casual sex, and you came off as boyfriend material. Contrary to popular belief, all women are not looking for no fucking relationship. That's bullshit. Um, don't think like that. A lot of women are just looking for hookups, casual sex, and to just have fun. So, you know, how did you come off as boyfriend material? Being too complimentary, nice, chivalrous, um, you know, like shit like wanting to see her, text her, and talk to her way too fucking much. When you do stuff like this or or you, you doing like extravagant dinner dates and uh, showering her with dinners and, and movie dates and dinner in a movie and shit like that. Th those are boyfriend, I wanna be with you dates. So when you do stuff like this, you come off as a boyfriend material. And if the woman is not on that shit at that point in her life, she'll cut you off and, and on to the next. That's number one. Number two, a lot of guys make this mistake, man. A lot of guys make this mistake. Number two is um, you didn't close the deal fast enough, which ties into number one. You know, women are looking to hook up, man, and, and, and fucking get they fuck on and get they freak on. Um, so if you courting a girl or you dating her and, you know, she throwing the signs in your lap, but you either too scared because you don't really know the game, you don't really know what women are looking for, or you trying to take the back door, you, you end up closing the deal too fast. I mean, you end up not closing the deal, excuse me, fast enough. And women look at you as unexperienced when they when they see that in you and they'll get rid of your ass. On to the next. You know, they looking for players and shit. Players and, and alpha males and shit like that. They get their freak on with. And when you can't close that deal, it screams of um, inexperience, it screams of uh, being a pussy, or that you trying to take the bow, the back door and be deceiving and all this shit. So that's number two. A lot of guys make that mistake. Number three is you come off uh, as needy or clingy and, and like too much chasing and, and too much fucking pursuing. You know what needy and clingy is. Women, when you come off as needy, women think in their head long term psycho, she gonna bury me in a fucking ditch or abusive and shit like that. So don't don't come off as needy or clingy because if you do, then they'll fucking, they'll, they'll get rid of you. Okay, so number four is if, um, you already fucked her, right? So a lot of times you'll be done got that ass, so you'll be done fucked the bitch, and um, after you fuck her, she'll disappear, right? She, she'll never call you again. So number four, like if you fucked her and she ghosts you, um, she probably was cheating on her boyfriend or her husband or whatever. She didn't let you know what time it was or that she was in a relationship. She was either cheating or, you know, she wanted some get back. Maybe he cheated on her. She wanted some get back sex real quick. And, uh, or she was on a break. Oh, I, she, she hit her boyfriend or her husband with the, I need space. So, a lot of times what they'll do is like, if they, if, if they cheat in or they get get back sex or I need space sex, they'll fuck a guy once or twice, toss him and go back home. You know what I'm saying? So, you don't know, take that personal. It is what it is. That's the game, man. Um, that's number four. Number five is if you fucked her too. Um, you didn't fuck her good enough. Back when I was coming up, man, all it took was for women to have sex with you and they'd be like hooked and shit like that. Nowadays, women are like more sexually, sexually liberated or whatever the fuck they call it. So they have, um, I mean, they've, they've always been freaks and been fucking different guys and shit like that. But nowadays, it just seems as, as, as though it's like in abundance. 
and women have more of a, a mindset that guys used to have now. So if, if you didn't fuck her good enough or you didn't make her come or your shit was whack, she'll get rid of you. That's period. And you know what I mean? It, they have too many options to deal with uh, lackluster sex these days. So uh, you gotta fix yourself. I don't know. Get a, uh, I don't know, man. Go to the gym. Uh, get the fat off your stomach. Get your testosterone up. Uh, get the blood flowing to your dick so you can, you know, or watch some YouTube videos on premature ejaculation or learn how to do foreplay or something. But that's number five, man. You didn't, you didn't fuck her good enough. Number six, there's pretty much nothing you can do about it. And that is that she found a better deal, right? So she was fucking with you and then she met a guy like me. Who are you? Bye. She done. Tell me. So... She found a better deal. There's nothing you can do about that, but keep improving yourself. Keep trying to make your life uh, better because the dating game is a competition. Um, the relationship game is a competition and you have to be tip top in order to compete. And women are always, uh, all of us, men too, we all looking for uh, better than what we fucking had. At least I am. So, uh, necessarily looking, but hey, I'll put the application um, in the drawer. You know what I'm saying? So not necessarily looking, but if the upgrade come and, and the time is right, a motherfucker, a woman will take that upgrade. So maybe she found a better deal, you know what I'm saying? And you just didn't cut it. There's nothing you can do. Only thing you can do about that is get yourself together and keep working on yourself, man. But yeah, that's six reasons why she ghosts you. Um, and it, 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 with any of those reasons or any one reason a bitch cut you off, fuck her, man. Um, fuck the bitch. Get you somebody else, man. Find you somebody else. Always date, you know, have multiple options date multiple people one leave replace them you know it's nothing to cry about that's the game it all it happens to the best of us you know what i'm saying don't don't you don't have to beat yourself up over it or or, or uh, get high and fucking drink and, and and be frustrated it happens to the best of us fucker it is what it is keep it moving you know what i'm saying but yeah that's six reasons why she ghosted you man um if you found a value in this shit man um share it like it, comment, subscribe. Um, you need help, you know, not being ghosted. The bitch ghosted you and you want to get your game together. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Send me an email and um, I'm going to chop it up and get you right. You know, you, you got whole problems. You want to get your ex back. You're trying to gain some confidence. You need a little game to bag more bitches. Hit your boy up in my email. Like I said, I'm going to put it in the description. And, um, you know, send me an email. We'll chop it up and I'll get you right, man. It's King Drake and I'm gone.